A college student was stunned when her online banking app suddenly closed her account and refused to return her thousands of dollars in savings. With medical bills to pay in just weeks before Christmas, she was in a panic. Desperate, she reached out to the I-Team's call for action, and WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka went looking for answers. Tarani Robinson was out shopping when she got a disturbing notification on her cell phone. It was honestly the worst feeling ever. I felt as if someone robbed me. The message was from Chime Online Banking, telling Tarani it closed her account and that she was not eligible for a refund. This was $9,200 of my savings. A student at Drexel University, Tarani used the account to deposit financial aid payments and the little money she got paid for taking care of an elderly relative. She tried calling Chime and sent emails but got the same response. We've identified activity on your account that does not comply with the terms of Chime's deposit account agreement. I literally lost all of my money. The I-Team found Tarani is not alone. Within the last three years, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau received 5,034 complaints about Chime's checking and savings. 954 of those involved the closing of accounts, and 360 involved stories similar to Tarani's. Chime isn't a bank, but a financial technology company. We call them a non-bank banking app. Apps like Chime are an alternative to traditional banks. The company says it has 700,000 five-star reviews and says some of the account benefits include paychecks up to two days early, no overdraft fees, and no monthly fees. There is just a lot of uncertainty and a lot of unknowns for consumers who bank bank <laughs> with these non-banks. Chime doesn't have any branches. There are no in-person places that you can talk to somebody, so you have to be on the phone for a long time or a chat bot. Um, you may not get the best answers to your questions. Frustrated that she couldn't get her money, Tarani reached out to the I-Team. They contacted me two hours after you reached out to them. In a statement, Chime told the I-Team, we take matters like this very seriously, and our team has worked quickly to to thoroughly review the matter. We've issued a check to the member and have been in touch with her directly. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, because that truly made a big difference for me. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau advises doing your research before setting up an account with a non-bank. While Chime says it is FDIC insured, many are not, making it much more difficult to get your money back if your account is closed or if the company goes out of business. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Cheryl, thank you. Do you have a consumer problem you need help with? Email us and we will investigate. WBZ, call for action at cbs.com is the email address.